Hi everyone and welcome to Saving with Jessica. Today I just wanted to share with you guys what my 2023 financial savings goals are for this year. Um, I know it's a little late to be sharing these but I thought it still would be a good idea to still share them just to keep myself accountable for the rest of the year. Um, so I'm just going to get started and I'm going to start with my first financial goal. My first goal is to fully fund my future home savings. That goal is $20,000. I currently have $15,000 and I still need $5,000. My second financial goal is to fully fund new car savings. So the goal for that is $20,000. Um, I currently have $6,240. My car can sell between $6,000 and $7,000 through a private party sale. Um, trading value is from 3,650 to 4,725. So you can see why I want to sell this car on my own when the time comes. And so that means that if I sell it on my own, I'm going to need around 7,000 more to save if the car is sold for 7,000. Honestly, I really like my car and I wish that it could just last forever so I don't have to deal with this, but I'm just being realistic and making sure that I have the money so when the time does come when I need to when I need to get a new vehicle I'll have the money. Okay, so the next my third financial goal is to fully fund future home savings sinking funds. So the goal for that is $10,000. And Currently, I have $7,750 and I still need $2,250. And my future home savings sinking funds include, um, it's a lot of different categories. One of the categories is an emergency fund for the home. And that's outside of my, my regular emergency fund. Um, money for furniture, um, money for new appliances, decorations, um, money for grocery when we first move in like to stack up the house with supplies and food um, money to help towards the first water bill any utilities so stuff like that that's what my future home savings sinking funds are my next financial goal is to invest fifty dollars weekly or one hundred dollars bi-weekly or two hundred dollars monthly into my roth ira and my other brokerage accounts. And this does not include a, my 401k. My next financial goal is to continue to stay debt free. Um, I've been debt free since February 23rd, 2020. So I have a three year debt free anniversary that is coming up very soon. It's like uh, two weeks away, three weeks away. And my last financial goal for 2023 is to successfully complete my 2023 savings challenges. And that goal is $10,000. Okay, so the next part. How will I achieve my financial goals for 2023? So for my future home savings, that will be funded with my paychecks and with some of my income tax money. I haven't filed yet, but once I file, I'll know how much I'm going to get. And then from there, I'll figure out how much money I will need to put in when I get paid. Um, my next one is my investments. I'll fund that with my paychecks also. My 2023 savings challenges will be funded with my pay also. My 2023 savings challenge money will go towards my car and home sinking funds. So any money left over will go towards any future goals or to my future home savings. Um, I will stay debt free by continuing to pay off all my bills on time. Um, if I use my credit cards, I will continue to pay the entire balance before the statement closing date. And once I got out of the mindset that credit cards are not extra cash and are not an emergency fund, that's when it all made sense and I haven't gone back since and I never will. So I don't see myself going back into debt at all. So these are my 2023 financial goals. Let me know what your financial goals are for 2023. 
I think that I'm going to be able to achieve all of these goals. I don't think it should be too hard. Um, I'm really excited. I just, I, I like setting goals every year, especially financial goals. And it just helps me financially, obviously, by setting these goals and ready for the next year. So hopefully I'll be able to achieve these. Like I said, it shouldn't be too bad. And I'm interested in knowing what are your financial goals for this year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.